Hi, it's Larry here of Xbox Live's Major Nelson here at the beautiful CenturyLink Field in Seattle, Washington for FIFA 15 Fan Fest. This is the very first time that some of the most rabid FIFA fans are going to get their hand on the game. Plus, my colleague Jeff Rubenstein had a chance to catch up with Clint Dempsey, the cover athlete for FIFA 15, plus some hands-on time. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Jeff Rubenstein from Xbox, along with a man you've probably seen quite a bit of this summer, Clint Dempsey, forward for the U.S. Men's National Team and also Seattle Sounders FC, and also, just announced, cover athlete for FIFA 15. This is pretty cool, right? Yeah, it's crazy, because uh, I remember um, growing up and playing the game with my friends. We are always talking trash, whether we were playing with club teams or the national sides. And uh, when I first went into MLS, being able to, to play with my own player, it was something that was surreal to now being on the cover. It's, uh, it's an honor and it's pretty, pretty, pretty cool. What did, what did the team from EA need to do to, to really accurately represent you? I think just get big eyes. I have big eyes. So <laughs> long as they put that on there, it was good. But uh, no, they did a great job of, in terms of uh, uh, replicating uh, the way that I look and also in terms of uh, the certain mannerisms that, that players do. So uh, it's pretty cool to see this, how far the game has come from when I first started playing it. Uh, with my friends back in the day. Personally, what is more satisfying for you? Would you say just hypothetically scoring a final goal to, to, to win a game or setting that one up? Man, that's a good question. Um, just to be part of creating a goal that helped the team win is something that's special. But from a selfish standpoint, the feeling that you get when you score a goal is not the same when you assist. For me, when you score a goal in, an, in a big game, in an important moment, that feeling to me is like having the, the, the strength to run through a brick wall, having that energy that you can do anything, like feeling like a superhero. So you can't replicate that. That's what you get addicted to. That's why you want to keep scoring goals so you can keep feeling that feeling. So um, I'd have to say scoring. I'm here with Santiago, the producer of FIFA 15. What's new? What are the biggest things in FIFA 15? I think the most important things that, that we're building this year can be summarized in, in three pillars. The first one is uh, a visual innovation in, in basically the realism of, of the pitch, the players, the lighting, the stadiums. Everything looks better. The second one is, is our idea of feel the game. So uh, that atmosphere in the stadium, the emotion, the intensity that you feel in the match, whether it's the crowd uh, chanting, and, and animating to those chants, uh, moments like you and I walk alone, and the players reacting emotionally throughout the game. That is another very important pillar. And the last one is, I think, that bringing that fun factor back by improving player control and responsiveness, bringing back the, the fun factor of dribbling, being able to beat players with dribble, uh, defending in a much more agile way. Those three things, I think, got up to what's uh, going to be a very complete FIFA experience. Something I noticed uh, that you showed, and if you can talk a little bit about it, was you showed a, a still shot of FIFA 14, and then you showed a still shot of real life of Arsenal versus Man U uh, at the Emirates, and they showed FIFA 15. When you see this, the real life shot, even though it's in the 20th minute of the match, the pitch already looks like there's a match being played on it, and the lighting, you can see that it's the same across all the different characters, the crowd, the players, and, and the pitch itself. So we've done those improvements to make the, the, the entire kind of uh, visual perspective that you have of the stadium, of the pitch, and of the players match real life much more closely. But one of the AI tweets that you did mention is that uh, when you're playing in previous versions of FIFA, the, the defense doesn't, isn't all that aggressive. You rarely get fouled or, or, or get to win a penalty, uh, but that's going to change a little bit. Yeah, we want to humanize the CPU by making him uh, more intelligent, uh, again, more human, take more risks, uh, play more like the people that you play, for example, online. And then it's really fun because you get a lot more free kicks in dangerous uh, zones. 
and sometimes if they go for a slide tackle and you are able to dribble past them, then now there's space left by that defender who's now on the ground. So it creates a much more dynamic way of playing against the CPU. So I know you're not talking about Ultimate Team today, but there are <laughs> a lot of cool exclusive stuff coming to Xbox One. So will you come back and talk to us when, when you are ready? Absolutely. When I'm allowed about. to talk about it, I'm ready to come back and talk to you guys. Santiago, about it. thanks very much. No thanks problem. for giving us an early look at FIFA 15. Oh, it's my pleasure.